we're going to take a look at um, a fantastic collection of 24 miniature Napoleonic Grand Army headdress, mostly Shakos, but also a couple of Busbys, that were made round about 1900 by a French gentleman called Charles Sandre. And they're a little bit unusual um, for our type of stock, which is typically all campaign and travel furniture, but sometimes you come across something and the quality both in the make and the materials used is just so fantastic that you can't resist them. And these helmets certainly fit into that category. So let's have a little bit of a, a closer look. Um, as you can see, you've got a wonderful eagle on the front. All of these individually made scales for the chin strap and even just the skill to make this green and red plume is fantastic nice braiding lovely silk rosette and even the interior of a shako is lined in pleated red silk and what's also interesting about these is that charles sandra put a little label in the back of most of them telling us the dates of these helmets and the regiments so if i can just catch the light this one says guard imperial 1806 to 14 officer 1813 to 14 tirolure grenadier and they were supplied with these wonderful turned boxwood stands, which also had a little slit cut into the front here so you could put another name label. This helmet is also Imperial Guard. And uh, again, I mean, look at the quality of the swags and the work that has gone into making them. This eagle uh, brass uh, regiment plate has dulled down a little bit. And this one again is also Guard Imperial, Imperial Guard, that very famous regiment. Um, and it's the Guard de Honor, 1st Regiment, 1813 to 14. This Busby is probably the most recognisable of uh, Napoleon's armies and also Imperial Guard and it's a horse grenadier. Again, just beautifully made. Uh, you've got the grenadier's badge on the top. You've got a, a wonderful chin strap lined in leather with brass, brass scales and the label to the inside, beautifully made. And also a Hussars Busby with a sock to the side, wonderfully made. So if you're interested in Napoleonic headdress, the Grand Army, Perhaps you don't have a space to uh, have full-size helmets and actually ones in good condition are uh, pretty hard to come by. An instant collection of 24 miniature ones, but I mean, you can see how much space they take up, are absolutely wonderful. And these um, are not on our website for, um, for a week. They are previewing on the Lepada Firsts website. So if you go to lepada.org, you'll see them. And from one o'clock uh, today, Thursday, 3rd of December, the only place you'll be able to buy them for next week, if you're interested in them, is on the Lepada um, Firsts preview. So uh, perhaps go and have a look. We have 
got um, an awful lot of detailed photographs on there so you can really get in and have a good look at the quality and the detail of this fantastic set. So to sum up, made by Charles Sandra in uh, France, either side of 1900. And um, interestingly, the Army Museum in Paris has got a collection of figures he made in uniform as well, just in the entrance hall. So um, if they're good enough for uh, the French Army Museum, they're certainly good enough for us.